Hello and welcome to another video where today I'm going to show you how to do morph targets inside Blender and bring them into Unreal and then control them via a UMG interface. Now the meshes we're using are off this fantastic website, 3D Scan Store, and they're giving them away free at the moment. So they're really, really useful assets. I've been following this website for a number of years, and for them to give this away is unbelievable, very generous. And you can do some great stuff with this if you wrap your own geometry onto this or follow some of the tutorials on there and take it a bit further than this. I'm just going to download the OBJ for this. You've got to register yeah, your email address and name, subscribe and download, and I'm just downloading the OBJs. So straight into Blender, I'm going to select all by pressing A, X to delete everything and then I'm going to go in here and just do a file import of the OBJ files that I want to use for my morph targets and I am just going to go in and choose from the centimeter scale and choose the L1 and choose the neutral and maybe smile open so I'm going to bring in the neutral first and I'll just press the dot key here to focus in on that and then I'm going to go file import again and bring in the uh, mouth open I think I'll go I'll go with smile open yeah so I've got the two meshes layered on top of each other here they should be sitting perfectly you don't have to use these meshes by the way you can use your own ones but they must have the same number of polygons in order for this to work and you may have to use a shrink wrap modifier or something like that to get them in the same position but what we're going to do right now is just choose the second one that we want to morph to and then control click the next one and then go down to this green button over here and on the shape keys, we are going to press this button, this little arrow here, and do just join as shapes. And that's all we need to do here, really. Pay attention to this uh, zero 06 smile open, because we're going to need that in Unreal later on. So what I'm going to do is just going to hide that one, and just double check that this has worked by going into the smile open here and moving this slider between 1 and 0. Excellent. We have a morph target set up inside Blender. So I'm just going to go in and export this. File, export, FBX and I'm just going to give it a quick name and I'm just going to go with selected objects here and under geometry I'm going to go with face export and then straight into Unreal I'm going to launch 4.27.2 but you can do this in any version of Unreal and I'm just going to choose the blank template from here so once this is up and running I'm going to go to import to game and I'm going to import that FBX and there's a few things to take note of here. I have to tick this skeletal mesh button. And down here, if I hit this advanced arrow here, I need to make sure import morph targets is active. And I just click import. Once I have this, I am going to just go into the default material and just give it a bit of variation here. You don't have to do this step, but I'm going to give it something other than the standard. And I'm going to go in here, maybe and just add a specular by pressing one or on a roughness rather and make it a little bit shiny, yeah? Save that off, close that, and there I double click the FBX. And if I move this, this should all be working correctly. I know I have my shape. Instantly, you can go into minus figures here now, okay? I'm going to go into zero, and I am going to just minimize this for now. And I am going to drag my geometry in here. Press F to focus, E to rotate. I'm going to turn that about 90 degrees and bring that maybe off the ground and scale that up a little bit, yeah? Now the next thing I'm going to do is to build a UMG. I'm going to right click here and go into user interface and go to widget blueprint and just call this widget um, face, not very original. Double click this and I'm not going to go too much into the details of how to make beautiful widgets here. All we're looking for is a slider. I'm going to drag it into the top corner here, scale it up a little bit and the next thing we are going to do is just to go into the graph here and we're going to create an event dispatcher here, okay? So off of this slider we want to do an event dispatcher. So I'm just going to call that and I'm going to call that a smile event underscore event. Again, I'm not naming these very well, but this should be all right for what we're trying to do. The next thing I want to do is to go onto that slider and just find the on value change button here and bring that in. In actual fact, the first thing we want to do is go into this event and create a variable here. So I'm going to new parameter and I'm going to call this smile. And I'm going to make sure that this is a float. I'm going to compile 
and save at this stage and grab that event in again straight into the thing here and I'm going to do a call. And what I want is to connect this to this and that to that. That's all we're going to do for now, compile and save. And the rest of this we're going to call from the level blueprint, which is not great practice, but uh, in this case it's a very simple example and we're going to do everything from the level blueprint. But you might want to connect this to the character, game mode, whatever else, to if you want to make this scalable in the future. So I've got the blueprints here, open level blueprint, and from here we want to basically, the first thing we want to be able to do is to bring this menu up. So I'm going to look for a input key to do this with. I'm just going to use keyboard event in here, right click, and choose a zero key. And from here, I'm going to search for widget, create widget. I'm going to give this the name of the one we have, widget face. And I'm going to do add to viewport from here. That should be what we need to do so far. Yeah, it'll ask us to save the map here at this stage. I'm going to save that. I'm just going to press play and see what happens. Yeah. So when I look around, I'm behind my face at the minute, but there's my face. And um, when I press the zero key, I should get that slider up there. Yeah. The next thing I want to do is to get mouse control whenever I click that slider, otherwise I'm just going to be moving my character around. So I'm going to right click here and then click on get, type in play, get player controller. And from this, I'm going to bring in a set mouse. And what we're looking for, sorry, I'm going to do set show mouse cursor, set show mouse cursor. This has to come off your player controller. And I'm going to make sure that that's on whenever I'm pressing my zero key like that. And from this, I can actually do a flip-flop, which means whenever I press it again, I can remove the widget. So I'm just going to right-click here and do a flip-flop and reconnect this into the flip-flop by control clicking. Bring that into the A. So it creates it the first time we press zero. And on the B, we want to remove it. So from here, from the widget, I'm going to pull from there and go to remove from parent. I'm going to connect that into the B, and from here we can do Control W to duplicate this. Plug this one into here, make sure that's coming from here, and we want to not show the mouse cursor whenever we click again. So let's compile and save that and press play. And again, I'm coming in the wrong place, I'll change my slot start in a minute. There's my character, I press 0, I click on the screen, I have control of that slider, I press zero again and I've lost the slider and I've lost control of my mouse. That's exactly what I want for this basic example. Press escape to stop there. The next thing we want to do is to take from that widget and be able to activate our, or set our morph on this. So I'm going to go back into the level blueprint here. This is not very tidy at this stage. If I just grab these and press Q and grab these and press Q, I can probably try to straighten this up a little bit, make it a little bit neater. Maybe do a comment here, right click, create comment. So from this widget, I can actually access that event. So if I go in here, the event that I created in my, the event dispatcher I'd created in my, um, in my uh, widget. So I'm gonna go in there and do, let's just remember what that was called. It was called smile event. If I call from here and then just type in smile event, bind event to smile event is what we want. Smile event was what we called our event in our widget. And by binding an event to it, I'm going to show you what we can do. So we want to pull this when the widget is active. So we're going to go in there. And then from this one, we're going to pull down and do a add custom event. I've just typed type custom there, yeah? I'm not too fast what I'm going to call this now. But if you want to make this scalable, you might want to make, give this a bit more of a meaning here, yeah? Next, what I'm going to need is a reference to that mesh, because that's what we're going to change with this custom event. So I'm going to just bring this window down a little bit, make sure I'm click clicked on my mesh. And the best thing about the level blueprint is we can reference this easily. So if I right click here, I can create a reference to that. And from here, I want to set morph. Set morph target is what we're looking for. And the thing that we got to get in here is the correct name for our morph target. So if I go into face morph here, and remember that smile open is what I want, I'm just going to right click that and click on copy names, and go back in here and paste that in here. And the next thing I'm going to do is just make sure I map this to here, 
and the value of smile which is coming from our slider from that event dispatcher in our widget to the value of the morph target okay now if you've not used unreal before this might be a little bit complicated but just do it the way i'm doing it for now and it'll start to make a little bit of sense yeah let's make that a little bit bigger so you all can see it and let's compile that and save it and make sure it works and I've done this right, otherwise we're going to have to go back. Let's press play. Go back round to our head. There we have it. Press zero. And there's our face coming in from that slider. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or any better ways to do this as usual, hit me up in the comments and subscribe and have a look at my other videos. And I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff like this with Unreal, with Blender and with some VR XR stuff in the future. Thank you for watching.